Hey everyone, it's Flex Time here on Tragic MTG. Recently, I was talking to someone uh, and we were comparing our respective collections, kind of just going back and forth, showing it off on direct messages, and uh, had a good time. And then I actually ran across this that I had kind of had a w socked away for a while and decided this would probably make an okay video. Um, <clears throat> this is a complete set of Urza Saga. And I bought this years and years ago before I started the channel as part of a big collection. Um, it had a lot of uh, pretty nice stuff that uh, at the time was um, doing well, but um, actually ended up selling some chunks of it before they took off in about 2018. So kind of left a little money on the table, but I did manage to save this complete set of Urza Saga. And uh, actually part of that collection were eight alpha black vices of which I only have one left sad for me I sold them for quite a bit less than what they are now so there's one left um, and the, the last time I had run across this and was kinda of looking at it I noticed that um, some of the cards in here actually uh, could use an upgrade and so I actually have them here we're gonna go through and take a look here um, or is this saga and so not a lot of people collect sets anymore and I just kind I just so happen to have this set that I did not put together, but I figured I'd at least come, you know, appreciate it a little bit. And we'll go through and see what the bangers are out of here. So, um, very beautiful art, of course, from this time period. Um, kind of halfway between really old and the new style. Um, this is just such a classic set. All of the cards in here are beautiful. Um, and some of them are very, very expensive, and um, uh, still on the res uh, reserve list cards in this set still. So I believe Baron Master Wizard is a reserve list, while Back to Basics is not. It can be reprinted still. Um, let's see here. We got Disruptive Student there. Love that card to ferry up to his hijinks at the academy. Uh, Gilded Drake, big one out of this set. And Great Whale is pretty decent too. Got a Morphling. Show and Tell. So, not a reserve list card, but one that sees quite a bit of play and has been reprinted enough times to where if it hadn't been reprinted, it probably would be still worth quite a bit. Uh, time Spiral. Pretty decent right there. A lot of good blue cards in this set. Just showing it off. Sorry if I kind of don't show everything. I'm just kind of somewhat quickly showing this off comment down below if you are happy with this or not <laughs> I don't know just thanks for watching as always persecute so part of this collection had like four complete sets of Konzatark here they were like sealed so I, I sold those pretty quickly and uh, um, a bunch of other stuff. I actually still have some like heavy play, like plateaus and badlands and stuff that came with this. There's Yagmas Will, big one out of this set. Um, um, I sold a, uh, a Serendib Gin and a, a, an Old Man of the Sea and a Diamond Valley. Really, really wish I still had that. They were played. There was a Beta Lightning Bolt, I think. Um, anyway, like what I when I recouped my investment and. Uh, and, and gained my money off of what I did sell. What's left of this collection, which would be that Alpha Black Vice, this complete set of Urza Saga, and some heavy play plateaus and badlands, and maybe a, a savanna and a scrubland, I think. All told, all of that, my cost base is like 800 bucks. So I still think I'm doing pretty good on my initial investment from like, it's been like seven years now. I've had this. So not too many re really good red cards. Sneak Attack and Gamble are good, but they're not big reserve list bombs. Um, some good uh, green uh, commons and uncommons in this set actually. Argothian Enchantress is rare. Carpet of Flowers is a big card. Um, pre Fecundity is pretty decent. Exploration, not on the reserve list. And then uh, <coughs> Priest of Titania would be in here. Uh, I do like the idea of collecting sets. I actually am into um, <clears throat> collecting sets of other cards like Garbage Pail Kids. It's 
kind of the non-sport stuff like Mars Attacks that I'm into, but it's really not an idea that I've had for really doing for Magic, and I don't think people do that too much anymore. Um, but for something older like this, it's definitely, I, I think, a really cool thing to have, so I'm going to probably hang on to this for quite some time. Into the artifacts. So here's my first upgrade. Um, when I at last had gone through here, I saw that this lifeline was... Um, not as not as nice as I would, had hoped it would be. Apparently, when I bought this, I, I knew that like some of this, it was not this was not billed as a near mint set. Um, it's definitely <clears throat> not the greatest card. But since I, I accumulate cards a lot through my random buys, I figured, hey, I'll, I'll dig these out and I'll upgrade my set here a little bit. So we got a nicer, nicer looking lifeline to put into my complete set here, and we'll put this into the pile of about 10 other lifelines that I have. Great card, by the way. I, I think it's a great card anyway. <coughs> Artifacts from Urza's Saga. Phyrexian Processor. Smokestack. Thran's Herbine. And then we're into the lands. The big story for this set, for sure. Whetstone. So the Guy's Cradle. This is the Guy's Cradle that came with this set. I have another guy's cradle that I found in a random buy, but this one is actually in very nice condition and does not need to be upgraded. Well, I guess it could be. It does have that going on there, but to be honest, it's it's good enough for this collection, I think. So I'm just gonna put it right back. And yes, these I have all I have authenticated all of these as real in the past. So got Fire Exine Tower. It's in good shape. Now this Sarah Sanctum, when I originally originally bought it, I did not realize that it was foreign, um, but I knew about it like pretty quickly after that, and I was okay with that. But now it, it is time to upgrade it to an English Sarah Sanctum, and then this will go with my few other. I don't have a ton of those. <laughs> um, I think I actually got this Sarah Sanctum off of Card Sphere sent to be by a nice user through Cardsphere. Um, <clears throat> link down below if you want to use Cardsphere. Sarah Sanctum upgraded. Very nice. Thran Quarry. Another, I think, is a really good card. It's not a reserve list, but I feel like it has potential, but it's definitely hard to keep your creatures around if someone's targeting you. This Telerian Academy definitely needs an upgrade. And I didn't, <clears throat> last time I looked at it, I didn't realize how bad it was, so definitely time. So this is one that I had been targeting for buyouts, or not buyouts, but just as speculation in the last several years. So here's a, uh, a little upgrade on a Telerian Academy. And put it into the set here. And we got the nice basic lands. So the basic, basic lands are cool because they do have the panoramic view to them, so they're pretty nice to have. The planes, like the drifting meadow style planes. There it is. I wonder if th does that drifting meadow go with these planes? I don't think it does, but it's very close. Different uh, artist, in fact, Rob Alexander. I got the fourth planes there. And then the islands, these are some of my favorites. The lightning island is amazing. The swamps, they're okay. Um, definitely like other uh, sets for swamps. The mountains are really cool with the uh, the misty mountains in the back. And then the forests of, I guess, Dominaria or whatever portion of the saga these are from. I think it's Dominaria. Are very gnarly, aren't they? So there's like, I don't know, there's like a little thing in there. Get this forest out and deal with whatever that is. It can come right back off. So that's it. That's my set of Urza Saga. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below. MTG, see you later.